What's up, micro pigs? Tommy Post here. Time to do another video. <clears throat> Pardon me. I think I'm coming down with a little bit of the crud. Not the corona, thank God for that. But anyway, um, I put a body lift on. Okay, I didn't buy one, I made one. So I'm going to just go ahead and fill in some blanks for those that were curious about it, give my thoughts, uh, tell you what I ended up doing. And if you want to try it, go ahead. Uh, I don't see an issue with it. It's been working fine tested pretty hard haven't had any issues so basically there she is as most of you guys know especially if you're on my Facebook page uh, micro pig off-road club everybody pretty much already knows this thing has one of the Russian Federation lifts now up your Kia has a very good lift for this thing but before I never knew about up your Kia I bought this lift. Well, it's in there, it works fine, so I guess it's gonna sit there for a while. So that thing gives about two inches of lift. Um, what's weird is the Russian Federation one, um, if you go on eBay, they're 30 millimeter. Well, the one I bought was 40 millimeter. So that's a hair taller than the one that uh, is still available, but it's certainly not gonna equate to much. But in either case, two inches lift. I stuck 31 inch tires on this thing. And uh, my first impression was that there was no rubbing with just the two inch lift. Of course, there was a little bit of trimming that happened uh, the inner edges of the front fender right about there. A little bit of hammering, some basic stuff. I thought there was no contact, but going really steep, backwards, downhill, wheel cranked. Yeah, I heard a little bit of scuffing, so time to make it a little bit taller, so which I did. One inch body lift. Now, a lot of these you can only go an inch to an inch and three eighths of body lift because, frankly, the studs that stick out the bottom of the body into the mounts, they're just not long enough to support a lot of lift unless you buy bolt extensions or something like that, but... I wasn't really looking to turn this into a monster truck. I don't want it to be as tall as possible. I like it sitting as low as possible, but with enough room for my tires and I don't want to make contact. So here's the idea. We'll look at the back one. Okay, so this is a steel cup right here. It's concaved. And this is a rubber body bushing underneath this white thing. It's kind of yellowish. What it does is it fits inside this cup and then goes into a little recessed part in the frame, in the body perch right here. Fits in there and then the stud goes right down the center of it all and squishes it in place. Well, see these white things? I made them. Two different sizes though. You can see one sitting right on top of the other. Now there's a reason for this. If you were to only make them the size that fits inside of this little steel cup, it would be too small for the rubber bushing. It would actually cut it, smash it, and probably damage it. So really, you need something bigger and wider on the bottom so that it just pushes on it without having a sharp edge. So that's why there's two different sizes here. But no problem. Underneath, really, you can see it. There's a nut there. The nut on the bottom of that stud, usually there's two nuts. Well, you take one of them off and use a little bit of Loctite when you put it back. You don't need both nuts. And by taking one off, it's basically going to give you the ability to slide that lift in there and have your stud be long enough. So the real trick is cutting boards. Yeah, you can buy these things at Walmart. They're cheap. Cutting boards are tough as hell. Very tough, tough plastic. The thickness that you buy is going to determine how much lift you end up with. See, that one's skinnier. All right. Five-eighths thick, three-eighths thick. Put them together, one on top of the other, you get an inch. All right. What really helps is if you have a drill press. I recommend a drill press over hand drilling, but if you have a high-torque hand drill, you can do it by hand. I used a drill press. <clears throat> so, hole saws are the trick. For anybody who's never used one, 
Yeah, maybe you better have somebody else make you one or do something. But anyway, you drill right through your piece of plastic. And then when you pull this out, you can pop that slug out of there by sticking a screwdriver in this little hole and just push that puck out of there. And that's what you're going to use for your body lift. Two sizes you want. This one is three and an eighth inches. 3.125. What that does is after you take the cut pattern from this blade out of the equation and pop the slug out, you get a three inch slug. Three inches is what you want inside that cup on the bottom of the body. Four inch is gonna give you about a three and seven eighths slug. That's the one you want sitting right on your rubber bushing. That way it's plenty wide enough that it's not gonna cut the edges of your bushing. So there's eight body mounts. And all you want to do, cut eight of those, cut eight of those, and then you're going to end up with 16 little circles. Well, then what? Well, the body studs on these things are 9 sixteenths of an inch. So the little tiny hole that's in, you know, I might even have one in my pocket. Let's just see. Uh-huh. So... The little hole that's in the middle, right here, and that's from the hole saw, is only a quarter inch. So you have to take your drill press and put a 9 16 bit in it and bore out this center. So now you have a 9 16 hole in the middle. So let's pretend that we have that already. It's cut 9 16 So you look at that Sharpie mark, that's about 9 16 So then you make a straight line connecting the the circle you just cut, the 9 16 hole, all the way out to the edge. And then you stick it in a bandsaw and yeah, yeah, cut it right through. So then basically you've got a U-shaped puck where all this part is cut out. So what you do then is you take all the nuts off of the body mounts. Okay, take all the nuts off everywhere. And then you go ahead and jack up. I started in the rear. So you just put a two by four or something underneath the body and you start to push up and then you'll see this, that rubber bushing lift with the body and then you pry it down so that it comes down the stud. Slide the first smaller lift puck up inside that steel recessed cup right there. You slide that in there first and then lift it just a hair higher and then slide the bigger one in there. So together, they will double stack. And when you let it back down, you'll be sitting an inch higher. So you can see the little notch right there. Now you don't have to worry about that notch. The top one fits inside of this steel cup. So it could not walk out of there in either case. The one that's here on the bottom it's just, it's never moved. There's enough pressure on it. But if you wanted to, you could actually spray a little bit of contact uh, adhesive from a can on it before you slide it in. And it will likely, it'll just bond into place and stay there. Works fine. So, you slide all of those into place, set it back down. You may only be able to put one nut back on the body studs because... The studs just aren't that long. So really that is exactly how you do a one inch plastic cutting board body lift. Most expensive parts in the hole saws. So like I said, if you've got a friend who has some of that stuff, then it's really gonna cost you next to nothing to make this lift. So give it a try. If you don't try something, you won't learn anything. All right. If you see this on YouTube, click like and subscribe. Hit the little bell, little notification button. That way if I ever get around to it and more videos start coming out, you can follow it, check it out, see it firsthand. Join us on Facebook, Micro Pig Off-Road Club. It is a micro four-wheel drive dedicated group where any and all are welcome. So get to it, join us.
post your pictures. We'll see you there.